Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics revolving around the industry of virtualization, specializing in Proxmox. Today's presentation is going to be about adding a network interface to your Proxmox server using command line. This video is already assuming that you have an extra network controller added or you have some command line experience. We're going to start out with our web interface. Now I am displaying the network interfaces already available on my web interface just so you can see that we added one as we go through these steps. The first thing you're going to do is open your shell terminal and enter nano etc network interfaces. This will bring up the file that you need to edit to add interfaces to your Proxmox server. So here is one for my demo server and you can see that we have added a new network interface to this file at the bottom called vmbr2. There are a lot of different network interfaces that can be added and I will not go through adding any of them today except for this one. Although at the end of this video, if you stay tuned, you will see some of the different configurations that you can create as well as a link to some documentation that will help you decide or figure out how to create some of these different network interfaces using command line. Now that we have edited our network interfaces file and finished saving it, we can move on to running this command if up mbr2 to start the created network interface. Note, if you're removing a network interface from this file, you'll want to use the command if down in the interface before editing the network interfaces file. Also, by default, if up down to is not installed on your Proxmox server, so you may need to run the command apt install if up down to in order to execute this. If you would not like to install if up down to on your server, you can commit the same process by editing the network interfaces file and rebooting your server. It is up to you and your own personal level of expertise or your own reliability on this server or just simply what you would like to do. Consider commenting below and telling us the reasons why you may want to reboot or use IF up down. Here is the view before of the old network interface in the back and now you can see the new web interface with the new network interface added here on the bottom. As before, I suggested that I would show you some configurations as well as a link on where to get them. Here is the use of a bonded connection with a fixed IP address. These commands are taken directly from Proxmox documentation. Here is the use of a bond connection as a bridge. Here is the use or creation of a VLAN. Here is another use of a VLAN setup. Now, as promised, here is the URL to the Proxmox documentation that shows you how to set up any of these connections that I have displayed and gives you further detail on information. As always, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video and found it informative. I would also like to thank the viewer that suggested this video in the comments section. 
If you like this video and enjoy this channel, consider doing the same. We greatly appreciate all the input and activity in our comments section. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. And as always, have a good night.